Let's name the property illustrated. So let's look at the left side of the equation and then look at the right side of the equation and let's decide what happened from the left to the right. Notice multiplication happened and we multiplied using the distributive property. So what's the property illustrated? It would be the distributive property. Let's decide what property is illustrated here. So study the left side, study the right side, check if there's a change in grouping. If so, that's the associative property. Or if there's a change in order, that's the commutative property. Notice we have 4, then x, then z. And over here we have 4, then x, then z. So order has not changed but grouping has changed. So this is the associative property of addition. Let's name the property illustrated by this statement. Negative 7 plus 7 is equal to 0. Remember negative 7 and 7, those numbers are opposites or additive inverses of each other. And so this is the additive inverse property. Their sum is 0. That's the identity element for addition. What property is illustrated by this example? It's the property that talks about the fact that any real number times 0 gives a product of 0. And I'll call it the multiplication property of 0. Let's write an expression for the total amount of money if you have n nickels and d dimes. Now remember, n stands for the number of nickels. If you want to know how much money you have in nickels, you would multiply n by the value of a nickel. For example, if you have three nickels, three doesn't tell you how much money you have. Three times the value of a nickel tells you how much money you have. So a nickel is 5 cents, or I'll write it as 5 hundredths of a dollar. That would be 5 hundredths of a dollar times n. That's the value in nickels. And then the value in dimes, I would add to that. Here would be the value of a dime, and then I'd multiply it by the number of dimes. So this expression gives the value of the money if you have n nickels and d dimes.